Hey everyone, I'm Helena and in this video I'm going to cover some ways to populate JetForm Builder's form fields based on the other fields' values. I will use another Clockoblock plugin a lot in this tutorial, which is JetEngine, because if you use JetForm Builder in conjunction with JetEngine, you have almost unlimited possibilities in fetching data dynamically, basically from anywhere on the website. But before we start, please make sure you have subscribed to this channel and it would be great if you hit the like button so more people will find this video and their recommendations. I will start with simple use cases and proceed to quite complex ones. First, let's fetch data from other fields of the same form. When you are editing your form field, look over at the right panel and hit the Add Dynamic Value button. From there, after clicking on the reg icon, you can select one of the fields already in your form in macro format. You can even add extras like the current date, time, or use this variable. If you're working with numeric fields, you can use math operators. Also, you can add conditional logic. This way, the dynamic value will only show up if the condition is met. But that's not all. You can also pull in data from other sources like post meta fields, user data, and query variables. If you use Jet Engine, you've got even more options like option pages, custom content types, and related items. Just make sure these models are activated in the Jet Engine settings. A calculated field is another field type meant to be populated dynamically using other fields' values. And, by the way, it allows you to perform even the most complex math calculations. On a more practical side, though, you can easily calculate a price with taxes or apply a discount automatically. You'd simply store a number in a hidden field, like the discount percent, and perform a calculation using fields macros. If you need more information about supported math formulas, I will leave the link in the description. One more interesting example of how JetEngine can make your life easier when used with JetForm Builder is when it retrieves data from option pages. It's especially useful when you have many forms that use the same value in the formulas. Instead of changing values across this multiple forms manually, you can set up option pages to control things like discounts that apply globally. Let's say you change your discount every week. With option pages, you just update it in one place on your dashboard and every form that uses this discount will be updated automatically. To use data from option pages and calculations, make a hidden field fetch this data as dynamic value first, and then use this field in the formula. Now let's move on to another powerful feature getting data dynamically for radio checkbox and select fields. For such fields, you can pull data not only from the current post, but from any post type on your website, and it's available in the field settings. Actually, you can turn post of any chosen post type into a list of options, just like this. The same can be done with taxonomy terms. Just select a taxonomy and the field options will be populated by the terms of this taxonomy. You can even make it displayed in a dedicated template. To use this feature, create a Jet Engine listing template and then specify it here. Another useful option is meta fields. It will fetch data from the meta fields of the current post, the post where the form is placed. If you use Jet Engine, you get access to a super convenient feature called Glossary. It allows you to create a list of choices once and reuse it as many times as you want. This can save you a ton of time if you need the same options across multiple forms. Now let's talk about the most exciting option, which is generating values dynamically. This feature gives you a range of possibilities, so let's have a quick rundown of each one. Here you can generate number ranges, it's pretty straightforward. 
Next, we have Get Values List from the Database. This option pulls values directly from a specific WordPress database field. It's super handy in some particular scenarios. If you use Jet Engine, you will have the Get Values List from Jet Engine List option. So, if your Jet Engine meta field also has a format of a checkbox, radio, or select, just type its name and the values will be pulled into your form. Finally, the Get Values List from Jet Engine Query option is one of the most advanced. It lets you generate values based on the custom query you set up. I will dive into the details about this option in the next section because it's definitely worth a closer look. And I will also talk about a very useful free add-on that can bring it to another level. Let's talk about getting values from a custom query. This option is available only if you have Jet Engine installed and activated. It allows you to dynamically generate options for fields like checkbox, radio, or select by pulling values directly from a custom query. To create a custom query, head over to Jet Engine, click on Query Builder, and create a new query. Give it a name, select the query type, in my case it's a post query, choose a post type, in my case it's properties, and set up all the parameters you need. For example, I'm building a form for a travel agency website. I want to list properties that have more than two bedrooms and belong to the resort category. I will create a query that sets up these parameters. I choose the property post type. Then, to define that it should be more than two bedrooms, I need to copy and paste the meta field name where the number of rooms is defined in my property post type. Now it should be the resort category, so I copy and paste the slug of this category. You can add more options to a query if needed. Once the query is ready, I can use it as a source for my form's checkbox field. To do this, I will select the Get Values List from Jet Engine Query option in the field settings and enter a specific macro. In this case, I will use 20 pipe ID pipe post title. The 20 refers to the query ID, which you can find in the URL when editing the query. ID pulls the post ID and post title will display the titles of the post as the form field labels. This is the result. I have only those properties displayed that have more than two bedrooms and belong to the resort category. And here is the best part. If I add more properties with these parameters, they will automatically appear in the form without any manual updates. Let's take things up notch and discuss how to populate a form field with data somehow linked or related to another field of the form. In this example, I will show how to display related items based on the customer's previous selection. To do this, we need to install a free add-on from GitHub. The link will be in the description. Let's continue with the travel agency demo website from the previous example. This time we will work with two custom post types, properties and activities. Each property of a resort category has a set of related activities. For example, a resort called Tree Guest House might offer lake trip and forest trip activities. 
Our goal is to have customers choose a resort and then automatically populate the activities available for that resort in the form. So the customer can select their preferred activities that will be included in the package. First, we need to create a relation between these two post types. Go to Jet Engine, Relations, and create a new relation between properties and activities. Properties should be apparent here. Now make sure that you have connected properties with activities. Go to properties and assign the related activities. So the tree guest house will have lake trip and forest trip activities related and so on. Next, we will create the query. Go to Jet Engine Query Builder and set up a new query for the activities post type because this is the post type that we need to fetch. Now, head to the Post and Page tab and in the Post In section, let's create a macro. Click the database icon and select related items from the list. Here you will choose the relation between properties and activities that we just created and select child object since we want to display the activities, which is the child here. Then select JFB update field form field. This is where you paste the name of the form field that contains the resort. So let's go back to the form and copy this field name. Now save the query. In the form create radio field, select generate dynamically and use the macro for the query we've just created. The format looks like this. 24, pipe, ID, pipe, post title, where 24 is the query ID, which you can find in the URL of your query. ID is the object and post title will be used as the label. Don't forget to activate the Field Updater section, this is very important. You will find it on the right panel. There you will see the Field to Listen input. There you should paste the name of the field the current field has a dependency on. In my case, it's the Choose the Property field, where customers select the resort so the form will fetch the activities based on the property choice. Now, depending on the resort selected, the activities available for that property will automatically show up and customers can choose one. As you add, update or delete activities for each resort, these changes will reflect in the form, so you won't have to manually update anything. By default, field types like text, text area and hidden don't have the option to be populated from a query. But with this add-on, you can now populate these fields as well. The process is the same, create a relation and a query, but when setting the field to update, the field will pull only the first related item since these field types don't support multiple values like checkbox or radio fields do. 
All the settings can be found on the right panel in the Field of Data section. I will slightly modify the macro here and use only the query ID and the post title value, as I don't need to fetch the post ID here, as in the previous case. That's it! Thank you for watching, and I hope this tutorial will help you to make even better use of JetForm Builder.